Hello everyone, welcome back to the tea. So today we're talking about Nessa Barrett and OMG. I didn't think I would have to talk about her so soon, but she did something really bad. Okay, so Nessa thought it was a good idea to post this video on TikTok. Now, after watching the video and realizing that she was dancing to a Muslim person praying, I was just hysteric and disappointed. It is never okay to do that in any way, shape, or form, and it's very disrespectful and offensive. Now, I'm not sure if she knew if it was a prayer, but even if you didn't, I, I just don't see why you would dance to a song like that. It's not even a song. It's a prayer. And there wasn't any beat or anything. So I don't know why she thought doing some TikTok moves was okay. And if you don't understand a song, don't you usually research it or ask someone before you dance to it? Like, I don't know why these tiktok stars aren't being more careful because you're on a spotlight and anything that you do will hurt your reputation for a long time and this is clearly one of those things that would stick with her for the rest of her life now from the outside looking in i feel like she did this for attention you know, a lot of people on social media do things for reactions and they want to troll and they want to get popular and they want to get the headline news. And if this is what she was doing, then she got exactly what she was looking for because a lot of big media people were talking about this. Now, I didn't know Nessa until about a month ago, so I don't know if she is a new TikTok star or if she's been... On TikTok for a long time, I just recently found out about her after there was a video of her saying the N-word and I defended her. I didn't think that's what she meant to say, but watching this video, I feel like it was intentional. I feel like she was aware of what she was doing and she thought it was funny and cute and it was going to go viral and that's why she decided to do it. Now, this is my opinion. I don't know if this is true, but from the outside looking in, it seems like like she got the reaction she wanted it's just very unfortunate that people don't care who they hurt as long as they get views and followers and people talking that's all they care about because i don't know if you guys know but all the views clicks followers equals dollar signs so it's just very disgusting that she did this video and not just her, the other girls should also be held responsible for this because it was both of them. And I mean, if one person didn't know, the other person should have. So after all this backlash, Nessa did issue an apology and this is what she said. My friend made a video that I posted. Um, we were trying to think of um, ideas for TikToks and I was scrolling on my free page and I saw a video of... Um, an old guy singing something and I didn't understand what he was saying um but I really thought it was the cutest thing because he was just my step siblings like my stepmom is from Egypt and all that stuff so I know that it could have been taken offensively um I just want to apologize for anyone that took it that way and was offended I think I'm sorry to anyone that practices that religion. Um, I thought that my apology just wasn't good enough, so I want to come on here and make it clear that I am truly and deeply sorry to those that I've hurt and offended. 
I love all people, whatever religion, race, shapes, and sizes. You can be upset that what I'd done was ignorant, but you cannot be upset at me for being hateful as there's just no hate in me. I saw a video of a cute older man and decided to use the audio, and if I had known that it was something so sacred, I would have never used it. This is a lesson learned for me to be much Okay, so in her apology, the one thing she said was her stepmother and step-siblings are from Egypt. So I would think that if you have family that are Muslim or practices the religion, then you should have had some idea that this was a prayer. And even if you didn't, I'm sure you could have ran it by your stepmother that you live with and asked her. So I feel like there is no excuse for this behavior. Now, the one thing I would agree with her is that she did say that she was getting a lot of hate and threats not only to her but her family and i just don't know why people go the extra mile if you're mad at someone or want to cancel someone just focus on them i don't know why people think it's okay to attack their family members or their friends it just doesn't get anything done when you do that you just seem like a bully share your opinion and move on right if you don't like what she did unfollow her no need to consistently attack her so you shouldn't be doing that in the first place and then if you are doing that going after her family members and friends is just unnecessary and i wish people would not do that and just unfollow a lot of tiktok and instagram creators thrive because of followers that's how they get where they are so if they lose one follower and it trickles down then they're gonna lose more then you comment in on their post but i am very disappointed in nessa because because in the beginning i did believe that you know it was just an accident but after watching the videos i just feel like she knew exactly what she was doing she probably didn't expect the excessive hate outcome but this is what happens when you do dumb stuff like this let me know what you guys think don't forget to comment and subscribe بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولك الله العظيم My friend made a video that I posted um we were trying to think of um ideas for TikToks and I was scrolling on my free page and I saw a video of um, an old guy singing something and I didn't understand what he was saying um, but I really thought it was the cutest thing because he was just my step siblings like my stepmom is from Egypt and all that stuff so I know that it could have been taken offensively um i just want to apologize for anyone that took it that way and was offended i think i'm sorry to anyone that practices that religion um that my apology just wasn't good enough so i want to come on here and make it clear that i am truly and deeply sorry to those that i've hurt and offended i love all people whatever religion race shapes and sizes you can be upset that what i'd done was ignorant but you cannot be upset at me for being hateful as there's just no hate in me i saw a video of a cute older man and decided to use the audio and if i had known that it was something so sacred i would have never used it this is a lesson learned for me to be much